Cincinnati City Council renamed four streets today in honor of famous religious and community leaders. And now that brings the total of 15 honorary street renaming so far this year. Uh, all at the taxpayers expense, by the way. Investigative reporter Paula Christian explains why City Council renames so many streets every four years, just as it faces an election. It's really an honor for the person um, after whom the street is named. Jen Michelle Lemon Kearney says these signs are an important tribute. As chair of City Council's Neighborhoods Committee, Kearney has honored many. From an ice cream shop entrepreneur to a young girl killed while crossing the street. But political insiders say it's the timing of these ceremonial street renamings that's no accident, since this is an election year. She needs to do absolutely everything she possibly can to show that she's connected to the community and working hard on the council, and even if it's renaming every street in Cincinnati one by one. University of Cincinnati political science professor David Niven says street renamings give council members valuable media attention and a lot of goodwill from constituents. Renaming streets isn't just about gaining votes. Part of it is a feel-good legacy. Council renamed just two streets each year in 2019 and 2020. But in 2017, the last time council faced an election, it renamed more than 20. That prompted then city manager Harry Black to warn that so many new signs were having an impact on city workers and the city budget. A city spokesperson says each sign costs roughly $750 in time and materials. At that price, taxpayers have spent more than $11,000 so far this year on honorary street signs. Yet Mac Mariani, a political science professor at Xavier University, says this rarely creates a controversy. I can't ever remember uh, anybody opposing the naming of a street. And with 35 candidates for city council, any boost in name recognition is a big help. It's one of the advantages that incumbents have is to do these sort of symbolic acts. But that's not how Kearney sees it. Of all the ways of getting votes, I think street namings are really not the best way of getting votes. I'm here in Oakley on one of the streets that city council is renamed this year. We can expect more street renamings even after the election. In 2017, city council renamed 20 streets before the election and another three after. Paula Christian, WCPO 9, I-Team.